We started the year with a budget and a forecast that we will hit 2019 consensus. However, we had an internal discussion on the board and the management level. What kind of business are we going to end up with? Will we capitalize on all the opportunities that are in the market now, like U.S. gambling, like personal finance, like regulated online gambling markets in Europe? Are we carrying activities that are not strategic for the business, that are not showing the margins that we want, or the client behavior, or the growth trajectory? And we said, okay, here's what, here's what we need to do. We need to focus more on what is the future of the business, which is focused on publishing revenue, specifically in personal finance and online gambling, with media being a supportive engine to that. We want to focus less on products that we can drive users only via the media channel, specifically mobile, mobile apps and mobile games. On top of that, we announced that we're going into a strategic investment into U.S. online gambling, which is opening up and is very exciting, personal finance, which is working fantastically well for us, as well as other regulated markets in Europe. We announced $7 million investment in internal development of assets over three, three years. And this, in part, led to what is not really a strategic shift. It's important for me to emphasize we're not trying something new here. We're not strategically shifting the business into a new trajectory. We're actually just going back to what is our most natural activity, development management of publishing assets. And this is, this is a more back to basics, more back home than a strategical shift. We started the share buyback program in December 2018. The reason we're doing it is because we, we believe the market is undervaluing the company. If we look at potential acquisitions we can do, we really don't think there's anything close to this value out there or externally. Um, we have a mandate, according to the AGM, to acquire up to 22 million shares, which is 10% of company equity. To date, we've acquired about 7.6 million shares for an aggregate amount of 5 million pounds. The board, at this point, is committed to continue this policy. There's a lot of things going on in the, in the gambling regulation scene. Uh, generally, the trend is towards re-regulation of gambling of countries that do not have a regulatory policy and stricter enforcement of advertising restrictions and so on in countries that already have. I think by far the most exciting thing going on is the U.S. online gambling market opening up, specifically for sports betting, as well as potentially casino and poker. We've seen a few states that have already opened up, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Delaware. We know there is a pipeline of active states. We believe in a few years there will be quite a few of them. Are we getting very bullish about the market? Not yet, but we do believe at this point that this market will become a very large one, probably the largest one for online gambling within the next four or five years. Of course, it depends when states will regulate and what the regulation would look like. Other countries, obviously everyone talks about the UK. The UK has went through a, quite a big change in the last couple of years from both point of consumption being introduced to point of consumption tax increasing as of April 1st from 15 to 21% for non-sports betting products, casino, poker, and bingo. Is this increase uh, painful? Yes, of course it is, but we do generally prefer to work in regulated markets. We pay the tax, but it, this does represent sustainable revenues. Other things we've seen in the UK as it are more strict restrictions on advertising. We've seen both the gambling regulators as well as gambling operators demanding higher levels of compliance. From an Excel perspective, we've actually taken a more hyper-compliant approach. We're completely overdoing it in a positive sense. If you look at some of our larger assets, you'll see sometimes a five-word bonus offering and a 50-word terms and conditions underneath it. Is this the best way going forward? Probably not. But this is definitely the safest way to avoid any one of our clients getting any kind of fine, any potential gambler having issues with something written or something misleading. And as time goes and as we deal with the regulator and with the operators, we probably will be able to tame this down a bit. But we, as, an, as a company, Excel, we're not, we're not stressed about regulation. We work with personal finance in the U.S., and there's not that many industries that are as regulated as banking products in the U.S. We have a compliance team that deals with this. Our teams are trained in dealing with this, so this is not an issue for us going forward. Another country that's went through changes this year is Sweden. As of January 1st of this year, a new gambling regulation has been introduced, which included an 18% gross gaming revenue tax. Most of our important clients have already gotten licensed. Some haven't yet. Uh, Sweden has now become a fully regulated market, which is, of course is a very encouraging thing. Because from our perspective, any dollar we make in a regulated Sweden is worth much more to us than a dollar we made before in an unregulated Sweden. Will there be a short-term effect on revenue? Probably, yes, because of the tax, because of potential advertising changes and guidelines. But in the long term, a regulated Sweden is a much better market for us than an unregulated one. I think the biggest change we're looking at is Germany. Germany is a market that's been on everyone's radar for quite some time. As of last week, we saw the German sports betting market getting an extension in its validity in the sense that we believe that most likely this will be a fully regulated market with many international licenses in the, in the mid-long term. There's still a question mark around other products, casino and poker and bingo and so on. But for us, we're sticking to our original strategy, which is to invest heavily into the sports betting market in Germany and to maintain our German casino operations, which are quite important for us. But until we have more clarity 
on the German casino regulation, we're go not going to invest in it heavily. Well, as of June 2018, we announced we had some issues with website rankings. And I have to say that uh, after we've taken corrective measures, we now feel much more comfortable. Uh, such events have not happened since then. We've upgraded our technological platform. We've upgraded our processes. All the assets affected are in various phases of recovery. And I believe most of them will reach a full recovery within normal, a normal time frame. Now, this could be anything from 6 to 12 to 18 months. We're now about 10 months post the event, and we feel that we're on the right trajectory. As we've mentioned before, uh, we're mainly focused on organic development of assets these days. We've acquired quite a few assets during 2018, and we're still integrating them and digesting these acquisitions. Going forward, we will still be acquiring. We're definitely looking into personal finance. We're looking into regulated gambling environments, soon to be regulated gambling environments. It will be a combination of buy and build with a bigger focus on build at this point. 2019 started positively. We're trading in line with the revised expectations from February, and we feel very confident about the year. We're seeing a lot of interesting opportunities. Personal finance is pr probably one of the most exciting things going on in the company right now. We started off just doing credit cards in Canada back in, the, in 2017. Since then, we've expanded both from Canada to the US. We've added more banking products like wealth accounts, deposit accounts, insurance, loans, mortgages. Um, student loan refinancing. So there are many exciting things that are happening. Uh, from our perspective, this business is now relatively sizable. It's, of course, much smaller still than gambling, but we do expect it in the long run to become a very substantial part of the business. And of course, there is the U.S. gambling opportunity. We've already declared that we're going to invest heavily in developing assets organically. We're looking to increase our exposure to that market, increase our team in the U.S. to, to work on it. As we've mentioned in our, in our recent statement, we're focusing more on the higher margin activities in the business, specifically the publishing and some media activity to support this. I feel, as I said before, this is a more back to basic moment for the company and for the part and going back to the part that has given us the best results over the years. So as a result of all this, the board is confident in the full year forecast for the company. We feel there are many opportunities for us and we've made the correct decisions in the right time to make sure the business is going to be successful in delivering its goals.